As the heydays of the 40s came to a close, William and Mary players dotted the professional football rosters of the 50s. As those ranks swelled, the numbers diminished at home. Probably the majority of people in the state of Virginia had no idea we'd win a game with 24 football players. The Iron Indians of 1953. We started out with uh, 24, and I guess we still ended up with 24 bodies, but people were hurt from time to time. They really took a toll on that small group of players. We went up to Navy, and I think really caught the imagination of the state of Virginia by tying a very good Navy football team. In fact, I think Coach Freeman made uh, Life magazine as he was so excited he was crying after the game. And that Cincinnati game, I ended up playing defensive tackle at 190 pounds. <laughs> it got so bad, there was nobody left. Despite the obvious adversity, head coach Jackie Freeman rallied his men to a 5-4-1 record. Milt Drewer coached the Indians for seven seasons, and William and Mary marked two of the biggest victories over Virginia during his tenure. In the mid and late 60s, the big green football fortunes were guided by two of the best coaches in the business, Marv Levy and Lou Holtz. One of their charges, a kid named Laycock. Coach Levy was a very organized individual, uh, had a tremendous staff, and they also uh, really taught me the values of fundamental football. William and Mary posted one of the biggest upsets in college football history in 1967, as the Indians scored three times in the fourth quarter to stun Navy, the top team in the East, 27 to 16. Playing for Coach Holtz was difficult at times and fun at times. He, uh, he certainly was a motivator. He, he made it fun for the most part, uh, but he taught you football and he taught you how to win. And I really cherished the time that I had to spend with Coach Holtz. He rolls out to the left. David Knight is open. Reagan throws. With 11 seconds left to play, the impossible dream has come true. Indians 34, Richmond 33. There is an alphabet associated with William and Mary football, and it begins with AB and BS. The degrees earned by the scholar athletes. It continues through AFC, NFC, CFL, NFL. Mikowski splits the back, drops back the throw. It's intercepted there by Kelso at the 25, at the 30, at the 35, 40, 45, midfield. Down to the 40, breaks into the clear at the 30. One man with an angle on him. He's at the 10, the 5, and scores. Run, 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 run! I almost had you. The alphabet includes other letters too. MBA, LLB, JD, CPA, CEO. People in the pros, in football, in all walks of life. Professionals from William and Mary from William and Mary football. Today we've got good rivals. We've got good, a good battle, a good schedule, a, a good program, and a super situation here where, you know, football's here to stay. In just three short years, William and Mary will celebrate 300 years of academic excellence and a wonderful century of football. A hundred years of tradition, of spirit, of pride. We reflect back on all the, the great teams that have been on Cary Field, the, all the tremendous William Murray teams of the past, all the great players that have played before us. And I talk to our players, and they sense a degree of obligation that when they go on that field, 
that they're not just playing for themselves, they're playing for everybody else who has been part of the William Mary football program. of high character, ones that are intelligent, ones that can, you know, run our system.